Hi, my name is Kevin Smith and I'm an Agile and Applications Engineer for Infinium Scopes. Today, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your E2678A or B socketed probe head, probe head for uh, Infinimax 1 or 2 probes. So let's take a look at the details. So, to calibrate the E2678A socketed head, we have to actually put in the uh, connections that we're actually going to use with our real life DUT. In some cases, we might use the damp wire accessories and we'll just shove them in, uh, basically like this. Oops, right into the, the left and right pins. And then we'll actually connect to the E2655 calibration fixture. This, this fixture comes with all um, 90,000A series scopes, though not the X series, and it includes some SMA to BNC adapters, a 50 ohm load, and the calibration fixture itself. We'll note that there is a green line on the fixture. This is for doing a channel-to-channel -channel skew calibration with probes. When we calibrate the probes, if we're using um, the inline DC attenuators or DC blocks, These go between the probe head and the probe amp. However, for calibration purposes, we don't want to use them, especially the AC um, uh, coupling caps because they block DC and we're going to do a DC calibration. Now, if you're using um, the 82 ohm resistors for max bandwidth, you ha the, um, you'll want to use the, the 82 ohm template that they came with and you'll want to cut the resistors to length and then insert them into the socketed head as, as shown here. Now when it's time to calibrate this, the probe, we'll want to select the correct channel, which in this case is channel 4, and we'll simply click on the channel, channel icon, select com probe configuration, and we can add an E2678A head from the drop-down menu. Okay. Single-ended or differential does not matter, for the purposes of calibration, you want to select that uh, later when it's time to actually use the probe. So then we can select Calibrate Probe, <clears throat> and we want to select Start Attenuation and Offset Calibration. It'll ask us if we want to do that, and of course we do. And we want to make sure that we put the plus side down to the center strip of the calibration fixture, at which point we can hit Yes and then it says to probe down to the calibration fixture and I can simply hit OK. That time it failed probably because I didn't have a good, I wasn't steady enough in my holding it or I didn't have the pins fully inserted so let's do it again. You don't need a ton of pressure just enough to make contact. time it was successful I just didn't have the quite the right contact now if you mess this up if you mess up the polarity you noticed in the previous screen image that the signal went up the screen if you mess up the polarity what will happen is that the signal will go down the screen and that just means flip the polarity on the probe we saw there it went down probe calibration failed okay now we can also do a skew cal this is really for channel 1 to channel 2 to channel 3 when using probes. I can simply hit start skew cal. It's very important to have the 50 ohm load since it does source a fast edge into the calibration fixture and without the load we get a large reflection. Again I didn't have enough pressure. Let's try that again. Oh well, actually the polarity was flipped I believe. Try that again. So it's not ridiculously easy, but it's not exactly hard either. Just got to get it right. Probe calibration successful. There, there we go. Perfect. It's also worth noting that we can also, for just the, the offset and DC gain, I can just touch the positive side to the probe compensation lug. However, this is no good for doing um, the skew calibration. Thank you for your attention.